Hey everybody, I'm Jason Creel and this is Lawn Care Life. I want to hit on a few topics today. We're winding down the end of the year and in my opinion, December is actually one of the most important months in the lawn care business. Now you might be thinking, well, what do you mean about December? We don't do anything for lawn care. A lot of people have no work to do. Some people find things to do. Well, even if you have no work to do, to me, December is very critically important because you're winding down the year and you need to be able to evaluate what happened last year and be able to make plans for the coming year. That's one reason and that's a very important reason alone. And another reason December is important is because you need to make some year-end tax decisions. Now if you don't have an accountant you're going to have to sort of work through that on your own but if you have an accountant December is a great time to meet with them or talk to them or at least get some advice on what should I do for this year. Let me give you an example of how that plays out in my business. So last year, if you follow me on YouTube, you know I bought a new truck for my business. The truck was roughly $30,000 and I took the full deduction upon the advice of my accountant in last year, in the 2017 tax year. Now why did I take the full deduction? One, I had, I had income to offset that deduction and then two, the tax laws are changing more favorably uh, for small business owners and others in the 2018 tax year. So my account advised me take the deduction in 2017 when the tax laws are not as favorable for you. So that's what I did. But when I but I also bought a spray tank for my truck that was somewhere in the neighborhood of $12,000 something like that. Well, what I did and I, and I had actually forgotten about this until I pulled out some of my tax records and started planning for this year. So what I did, I bought the truck in the end of 2017 took the full deduction in 2017 but I waited and bought the spray tank in 2018 in January of 2018 why did I do that well I already had that significant deduction coming off with the truck in 2017 and that brought my tax payments way down and was very helpful I didn't want to waste you know I'm, I'm not saying waste but I, did, I wanted to get the full effect of that spray tank deduction and I already had the truck deduction so I waited and used it this year when I'm, I've had increased my income and ha I don't have a truck to write off this year so I'm very thankful that I did that and that that extra 12000 to come off my income this year is going to be very helpful. Those are the kind of things you need to be thinking through in December and what, what can I buy at the end of the year that's going to be helpful. Now don't just go buy something just to buy it but if you need that piece of equipment why not buy it in December instead of waiting until January if you could really use the tax deduction this year. I mean basically it comes down to this. If the government says would, I, would you like to have your money now or would you like for us to hold it for you for a year and then give it to you next year? Almost every single time I'm going to answer that, that I want my money now. Like, but like I said, if you've got plenty of deductions this year, then that wouldn't make sense. Again, I'm not an accountant, consultant, accountant, but use some common sense on your purchases. And I'd like to hear from you in the comments if you have some thoughts on this. But also, like I mentioned, December is a great month for doing some planning. What is your business going to look like next year? Now, I'm coming off what I guess numerically might have been my best year ever in the lawn care business. And I'm happy for that, but I also made some mistakes and there's some things I want to adjust. And as my business grows, you can't keep doing the things the same way all the time and expect to grow. So as the business grows, I can't do as much myself. I can't take care of every property uh, and do all the the paperwork and everything else involved with running a business, giving the quotes, doing the marketing. At some point you outgrow yourself and that's a good thing. But what that means is you have to adjust the way you run your business. And so I'm trying to put some things in place in my business to make things more streamlined, to eliminate uh, the task to automate some things, whether that means emailing invoices instead of printing off paper invoices, trying to get more credit cards on file as opposed to collecting checks and taking them to the bank, things like that that I'm thinking through and the percentage fees that I that are paid but versus the time involved. And and that's always a balance. You know, this is this costs more money but it makes things faster. This takes more time but it saves me on some fees. Well I just tell you as my business grows I'm kind of thinking more the fees are okay not okay, I don't like fees, but I'd rather pay the fees and streamline it and to be able to scale my business. And so those are things I'm thinking through in my own business. I'm also thinking through about the people side of business and how can I 
get enough manpower to be able to handle the work that's coming on. So I've got a part-time guy now, possibly looking and getting somebody full-time. You know, I've considered an, another part-time person, but I, I just don't know at the moment. And that's one thing I like about the line business, there's always strategy involved. It's, it's kind of like sports. The best team usually wins, but not always. There's strategy involved. And so, you know, you want to have good people and good equipment in your business, but there's also strategy. How do I go about this? Which type of properties do I go after? How do I go after them? How do I build increased route density to be able to increase my profits that way. Let me encourage you as you have a break from your business, enjoy the holidays, those things are important, but also be making plans on how you can make next year better. And I'm also making plans for the YouTube channel. How can I improve my YouTube channel? What's 2019 gonna look like versus 2018? And I've got some thoughts on that that I'll hopefully be sharing and some things I'm gonna be doing different on YouTube. Let me hear from you in the comments. What do you do in December to plan for next year? How did 2018 go? What do you got on tap for 2019? I'd love to hear your thoughts and how you're thinking through strategically how you can improve your business and also how did last year go. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.